guys, welcome back. It is Brie from Homemade on Our Homestead. I hope this video finds you guys all well. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to make a really simple, reusable fabric advent countdown chain just in time for Christmas. Here you're gonna to want to pick some fabrics that are Christmas colored or go with your style of decor that's gonna match your house for Christmas. Obviously you're gonna need 25 rings. So for this project, I have selected five different uh, fabric fat quarters. You can use scraps for this. You can use a fabric that is Christmas themed or you can use fabric that is just Christmas colored. These are the ones that I'm going to be using today. Once you have your fabric selected, go ahead and give it a press with your iron. So for this particular sewing project, we're going to be cutting strips of fabric that are four inches wide by 11 inches long. So if you're gonna be using scraps, you're just gonna to wanna to make sure that the pieces are at least that big. So another alternative for fabrics for this project is head to your local craft store and you can find inexpensive bandanas. I think these were 99 cents each. They have a wide variety of colors and patterns to choose from. So you can get some red, green, and white ones or some buffalo check ones like I have here. And you can cut these up and use this for this project as well. So this is another really inexpensive alternative um, to be able to make these reusable fabric rings and you won't have to buy specific Christmas themed fabric or head to a fabric store. So we're going to be cutting 25 strips of fabric 4 inches wide by 11 inches long. So let's go ahead and get our fabric cut. So I am just taking all of the fat quarters that I just ironed and I am just laying them flat on top of each other giving them a press so all the edges line up. So I'm using five different fat quarters for this project, so I'm going to need to cut each fabric five times. So that way I get a total of 25 rings. Five sections of five fabrics cut, so that's gonna make 25 rings. So before we sew, I'm gonna go ahead and get these all pressed at the same time and then we can go and batch sew them together. So if you're not going to be using a strip ruler like I used to cut all my pieces out today, I have created a paper pattern that you can go over to my website and grab for free. And then all you're gonna do is print out the PDF pattern and I will have a link for that in the description box below. You're going to cut directly along this line here. And this is gonna be your pattern that you can lay directly onto your fabric and pin and cut out. So all the fabric strips are cut. Now we're gonna go and just give these a quick press so that way when we sit down to sew, we can batch sew these all at the same time. So let me show you how to do that. So start by taking one of your strips of fabric and we're gonna start with the ends. Obviously you're not gonna want this raw edge sticking out on your rings. So we're just going to take and fold it over about a half an inch. You can measure this if you want. I usually just kind of eye it to try to get it as close as possible. Again, do the other edge about half an inch and give that a press. Then you're going to take it with the wrong side of your fabric facing up and you're gonna fold it in half lengthwise. Again, give it a press. Open that up and you're gonna take that raw edge here and you're gonna fold it toward that pressed seam that you just made in the middle. And 
and give that a press. Then you're going to turn it and repeat for the other side. This raw edge, fold it up towards the center. And give it a press. Once you're finished pressing, you should have both of your raw edges facing the seam in the middle, and you're going to fold that in half. You can give it a quick press or you don't need to. It will likely stay. But now you've enclosed the edges so you have no more raw edges exposed. And this is how we're going to sew our tube. So when it's finished, it will snap like that and you'll have a nice fabric ring. So you're going to want to press and fold all of your pieces like this. So the fun thing about this project is you can really do it to match your decor style so you can use different colors of fabric if you decorate in blue which is one of my favorite colors it doesn't have to be christmas themed fabric it can use just christmas colored fabric it's really up to you so it's really a fun project just to personalize for your home and your style So I think next week on the blog, I'm actually going to share this exact same project, but do a no sew version. So for people that don't sew, but still would like to have a reusable advent calendar um, with rings in their house. So make sure you check back um, to my website. I will have a link in the description box below if you are interested in a no sew version of this. I think I'm going to create one of those next week for all the people who would really like to have a reusable option for one of these in their home, but maybe they don't sew, or maybe you want to get the kids involved in this craft and they don't sew. Um, I do have a version of this that I will be uploading as well, so make sure you check back if that's something that you would prefer. Alright, so I have finished folding and ironing all my 25 fabric rings. Now we're going to go ahead and get these all stitched. So for me personally, I am going to top stitch around all four edges of this just to make it more finished looking, but you definitely could just sew along the top edge, this bottom shore edge here, and along this open side seam. Really, you can sew this however you want. You could use a decorative stitch, you could use a zigzag stitch to make it more festive. It's really up to you. For me today, I'm just gonna be using a straight stitch along all four edges. All right, so I just finished sewing all 25 of my fabric loops. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead, take a pair of snips, and I'm gonna go around to each one and trim all the loose threads off so they are nice and clean. So I finally have all of my threads trimmed off of all my fabric pieces. So obviously this project, you're going to be constructing these loops that are gonna snap and kind of interlock on each other. So you will remove one of those loops every day as a countdown to Christmas. So some options you have for the closures would be to attach a buttonholer foot on your sewing machine and put a buttonhole and a button on them. You could also use Velcro. And then for today, I'm gonna to be using these little plastic snaps. So these are really easy to put on. There is a tool that comes in the packet um, that you affix these buttons with, and it's really simple to use. So to get started with these button snaps, I'm gonna go ahead and use a darker color so it's easier to see. You're going to need two flat-sided caps that come in your set that look like this. Oops. Then you'll need two pieces that look like this. One piece has a little raised edge on it, and the other one is pretty flat. So this one is going to obviously fit into this one when it's snapped. So when I start, I usually take one little pronged end, put it with this side, pronged piece, and I put it with the flat side. So I have the sets kind of already made together. And you're gonna figure out where you want your button placed. So then you're gonna take your awl and being really careful, kind of figure out where you want your snap at. Then taking one of the flat sided with the prong buttons, you're gonna take that little prong and put it up through that hole that you just made with your awl. Flip it over like that so the little prong is facing up and taking one of the other pieces, either the flat one or the one with the little um, lip edge on it, either one is fine, it doesn't matter which one you do first. You're gonna slip that over the top of that. Then you're gonna grab your pliers and this little black disc down here on the bottom part of your pliers is where you're gonna put the flat side of this button. So once you remove this from the pliers, you'll see that that little tiny piece of plastic on the inside here has been smashed by your pliers. So now your snap is attached to your fabric, and now we can go ahead and do the opposite side. So you're gonna need that other flat piece that's smooth on this side. So it's really gonna be on the opposite side of this one, but on the other end. So taking your awl, Come down to this end and you're gonna do the exact same thing that you did on the other side. Double check this before I put the snap in. Take that prong, feed it up through. So once I have the other piece attached here, make sure it's gonna snap. So grabbing the other piece of the snap, this one has the little lip edge on it. You're gonna set that over the top of that little prong. And again, place it in your little snap tool. Okay, so I have just finished putting all of my snaps on my fabric rings and now we can just loop them through each other and get them connected. So starting December 1st, have your kids remove a ring every single day as a countdown to Christmas.